So today I'm going to teach you how to get your first set of clients. This approach has been used by countless artists, but it's also a derivative of startup practices seen in the pharmaceutical and retail spaces. We are going to be using the three metrics of clout, goodwill, and price. Goodwill is essentially your reputation, clout is how many followers you have, and price is how much people are willing to pay you. When you're first starting out, you have enough goodwill to start on the social media platforms of your choosing. For art, it's your best bets are Twitter, DeviantArt, PivX, etc. You're going to start out by posting fan art and giving people unsolicited art, be it of their OCs, emotes, OBS screens, backgrounds, or anything else you are interested in doing going forward. You are doing this to gain a critical mass of following. You will not be looking for anything in return from the people you give stuff to. These are essentially free samples with no strings attached, especially no TOS. This is your exposure phase. Once enough people are following you, you're going to go ahead and open up a Ko-Fi or Fiverr. You never advertise this, you just simply link it in your bio. You will also link it below anyone who directly asks you how to thank you or how to commission you. This is also the time where you start thinking about doing a giveaway of some kind. Giveaways are the best way to rapidly boost your cloak metrics. As your following begins to grow, you will begin to you'll begin to open a formal rolling commission process on your main socials. Price it cheap, but make sure there is some kind of transaction. Your goodwill will take a hit, but you're beginning the transition to a paid audience. This is also the time to whack up your Fiverr rates to higher than your Twitter rates. Once you start getting a consistent amount of rolling commissions, you will open up a Patreon website or Google form to begin the process of moving to a slot-based monthly fixed commission cycle. To figure out how to price yourself, go watch my last video on how to objectively value your art. At this point, you have started your artistic freelancing journey, and the rest is up to you. The next time we will talk about the marketing principle this strategy is based on.